Hopeless, uh, hopeless. It's cost us a trillion dollars so far. Uh, this weekend, we bombed a Doctors Without Borders hospital, killing a dozen doctors and uh, dozens of uh, wounded patients in the hospital. It's a disaster. It's not a matter of individual personalities. We said, okay, we've taken out the Taliban leader. Now the next one's even more effective. This goes on and on and on, the endless war. So what would you do then, Jeffrey? What, how do you get us out of the mess? Well, we created all of these messes from <laughs> Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, uh, Libya. We have to stop overthrowing governments and work politically, diplomatically, with other powers who also have an interest in stability. And that we haven't done. We've just gone in by ourselves each time, and we end up with this colossal, now decade-long mass bloodshed that just continues. Mike Barnacle. General, with regard to the uh, Doctors Without Borders incident in Afghanistan, given who you are, given your experience, could you speak to the idea, to the reality of what war really is? It's not a video game, as most people in America think. It's uh, filled with clamor and conflict and danger. And in this regard, in Afghanistan, and not just this time, the fact that the United States now were so opposed to putting troops on the grounds anywhere, we fight wars from the air, which is inherently dangerous without specific spotters on the ground. Could you speak to those two elements? Yes, well, I, I, I deeply believe that um, you, you have to, uh, if you're going to use the military, it's very, very hard to uh, achieve anything lasting on the ground just uh, simply through air power. Uh, there, it has to be a, uh, a team, it has to be an air ground team where the Navy's involved, it has to be uh, an air ground and sea team, but there, there has to be um, a, um, a, a well-trained uh, group that is directing things, and in the case of the tragic bombing of the hospital, uh, I think that speaks to the fact that, uh, that you really, really need to be very careful and you really need to have the qualified people ground that are that are there on the scene that know exactly what they're doing um, and but I do think that whether it's Iraq or or Afghanistan I think uh, victory through air power is probably the long road to uh, 